Hi, I'm Lauren Edgar and I'm going to talk about the paranormal. Hi, my name is Lauren Edgar and welcome to the Trinity Vaults. I am here to tell you two spooky tales, one experienced in these very vaults. So let me take you on a supernatural journey into the world of the strange and unusual which defy logical explanation leaving you with the unanswered question What happens when we die? Uh, I was working in a group activity in this vault and we were just working away and suddenly I got this feeling of not being alone I looked around but I didn't see anything and no one else in my group seemed to sense anything. Everyone was just working away. Suddenly, out the corner of my eye, I saw this shadow. And I looked at it. It looked like a dog. And I was like, hold on. There shouldn't be a dog in here. And then I spoke to other members of my group and I discovered they had also seen the shadow of this dog as well. Is that a dog? Did it end there? It just me. I saw a dog. So it wasn't just me. So this wasn't a figment of my imagination. Everybody else in the group had seen this dog. And that also can prove that there's more to the paranormal. Everybody else has seen it. It's not just me, it's not just a figment of my imagination. So my second tale happened a year after losing my mum. I was getting ready for a Christmas party. My dad took two photos of me a few seconds apart. In the first photo, there's nothing. In the second photo, on the wardrobe door, there's what they call in the paranormal community, an orb. They believe that this is the beginnings of a spirit manifestation. Could this have been my mum trying to communicate with me? Time immemorial, there have been tales of spooky goings on. To this day, there's no definitive answer to what these experiences are. We may never know for sure, which in my opinion, leaves room for hope that there is an afterlife. Thank you for watching. What happens? What happens to Ida?